CC light sweep can be found under the generate category, and I like to call this the auto fancy effect because when you apply it to anything, it automatically makes it look all fancy. Let's zoom in and take a look at the controls. First of all, we have a center point control, which we can see right here. And if I click and drag this, it will sweep this kind of beveled edge with nice highlights that just make the whole layer look shiny. And because it's working with the alpha channel, it's pretty convincing. We can change the direction of the light sweep. So this is rotating around that point. And we can change the shape from being sharp to being smooth. If we zoom in, this is really changing the fall off from the center highlight point. If I move it right here so you can see it left to right. Sharp has a much sharper fall off where it's brighter in the middle and gets dimmer much more quickly as you move along the surface of the layer. Smooth just has a smoother fall off from that point. But we also have linear, which has no curve to that fall off. It's just a straight fall off from the highlight to nothing. I'm gonna set that back to sharp. And next up we have the width, which you can think of kind of like a light beam. It's the width of that highlight. We can also change the sweep intensity to make it brighter or dimmer as well as the edge intensity. And as you can see, this is distinguishing the face of the layer from the edge. It's finding that alpha channel and applying this bright highlight here and here separately from what it's doing to the face of the logo. So I can change that edge intensity independently and I can also change the edge thickness so that it comes in further on top of the surface or stays closer to the edge, basically allowing you to shape the perceived depth of the layer. We can also change the light color. So if we wanted it to be maybe a bright goldish color, we could do that or choose any color you want. And then finally, we have the light reception, which is set to add. This is basically the blending mode of how it's blending this light sweep onto the layer it's applied to. We could change this to composite, where basically no blending is happening whatsoever. Or we could change this to cutout, where only the affected area will be visible. So this is useful if you wanted to say duplicate this layer, I could remove the effect from the lower copy, maybe change the blend mode of the sweep layer to add. So we basically now have recreated the same thing as before, but this is now a separate layer that we can apply anything we want to without affecting our original logo. So if I wanted to say, add some noise to just the light sweep, I could just type in noise, we'll grab the noise effect and add it right after light sweep and increase it. And that noise will only show up within the light sweep, not on the rest of my layer. All right, let me get rid of these effects and reset light sweep back to default. Make sure the blend mode goes back to normal. And really quickly, I just wanna show you how easy it is to add this nice sweep of light across your layer. I'm just going to move it off to the side where we can't see it. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe on the center point and then go forward maybe five or six frames and just move it across the layer. It'll automatically add that second keyframe for me, and then I'll play this back. And that's probably a little too fast, so I'm just gonna slow that down a little bit and we'll play it again. And there we go, just a nice little reflection across my logo. Nice and smooth, really customizable. It's an effect that comes up in my workflow all the time, but that's all you need to know about CC Light Suite. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.